Okay, in this video today, I'm going to show you how to connect an RJ45 to a bare piece of Cat5e cable or Cat6 without the use of a crimp or a punch down tool. And today we're going to be using the GF Innovations GF2100 Ethernet connector, or RJ45 Ethernet connector. As you can see, it's got an RJ45 connected to one end and uh, a termination box connected to the other end with a GF0080 connector in it. What this allows you to do is insert the internal wires of the Cat5e cable into e each tube. And they're colour coded here so it makes it easier. And once you clip down that, that will terminate the, the cable. So what you need to do this is a sharp knife or cable strippers and a cable cutter or a pair of scissors. So I'm going to be using a knife and scissors. And also a length of Cat5e cable or Cat6. You can obviously choose whatever length you like and have it customised to the length you require. And also if you need to pass a cable through the wall, so if you're connecting your telephone or your smart TV to a modem that's in a located in a different room, you could drill the hole the same size as the cable and pass it through the wall and then connect the RJ45 on the other end and that will save having a large unnecessary hole drilled through your wall. So firstly what we're going to have to do is trim about 45mm off the outer sheath of the Cat5e cable and remove that and we're going to have to arrange the wires in the order that we are going to insert them into the GF0080 which is the little clip, cable clip here so what we're going to do is go white, orange, orange. It's good to straighten them out as you go. Makes it easier to insert. Uh, white, green, green. Uh, white, blue, blue. Once you like that, you want to move them all together to create a ribbon like look. So, just get that, that yeah, put them together, bend them a bit, makes them straighten out a bit easier. And once you've got them like that, you want to take your scissors or cable cutters and cut the ends off at an angle. This makes it easier to insert into the GF0080. Once you've got like that, you can take the cable clip and insert white orange, orange, white green, green, white blue, blue, white brown, brown. And you'll push, feed them all the way through the holes so they come out the other end. Try and get the jacket right up to the tube openings. And once you've got it like that, you take your cable cutters and you see these wires sticking out. You want to cut them off so it's flush. Let me do it over a bin, it's a bit cleaner. But once that's flush, you can then place a cable clip back into the GF2100 Ethernet connector. You push it down, make sure the cable's into in the cable hole, and close the lid, and that will secure the termination. So that's perfectly connected RJ45, it's very strong. You've got an RJ45 on one end, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. All links and other information you'll find in the description box below. Goodbye.